I went ahead and fast forwarded this thing uh, a couple of times just because it was uh, mainly touch up work I do, highlighting, fixing all these ugly rocks here, make them a little prettier, make the grass a little prettier, add a little more variety to it. I think I add some to the rock pile on top too. It's just rocks and grass, that's what I'm going to name this episode. Rocks and grass. Because, uh, although there was no grass smoke while painting it, there needed to be. Uh, so another one of those fluffy little flowers thing. Um, honestly, I have no freaking idea what I did on this video. I kind of like the background music, though. Uh, I, of course, write all the songs I, on the videos, and this is, like, one of the, my favorites I did. Uh, I can't remember the title of it, but... Oh, how many times I'm gonna screw up these little pedal things. I don't remember, but I know it was a lot. You'd think I'd edit these things out, but no... No. Actually, I think I do a weird blurry thing on all of the little flowers. It works for me. It gives it a little bit of a halo, maybe a fuzzy feel to it. Uh, and I'm using the blur tool there. Yeah, I've recorded this video like, uh, oh, at least going across the stem. That's why I put that black one there. Uh, yeah, I recorded this a long time ago, but then, uh, YouTube's automatic copyright infringement thing picked up on one of my video songs and said it was copyrighted by somebody else, but it turns out it was just one of the, uh, one of the, uh, uh loops that I used that were already on Magic Music Maker, and, uh, Magic gives, uh, all users, all registered users, not exclusive rights to, uh, use all of the loops and copyright them if they want to. So the person was not wrong in copywriting their songs, but uh, YouTube was wrong in picking it out. Uh, I think Magic should uh, make a registry of their uh, of their sound loops so that uh, it doesn't happen again. But, you know, I don't think it's going to happen. So I expect to fully, after this is resolved, I expect to be called, captured once again, somewhere along the line by a YouTube al algorithm. So, uh, you know, with any luck they won't. So I'm thinking it out the grass, which really needs to be thinking out, actually. I don't know, zoomed in like this, it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Uh, but zoomed in like this, it's hard to tell what it's going to look like zoomed out. And I honestly can't remember. I was, uh... Well, it was like a month ago. Actually, a month tomorrow ago that I recorded this. And, uh, I'm not really sure what I did yesterday. Okay, did I loop this song, or did I put another song in? Looped! Oh, hey, that was pretty good zoomed out. Whoa, whoa, hey! Making me dizzy. Uh, gotta love times, too. So we gotta put a little more shade, a little more color depth to those rocks behind. What well, my plan is there is I, I go ahead and color them in fully, like the light is hitting them. And, uh, well, actually that little bit right there is gonna be in front of everything else. But those rocks that are in the shadow, you gotta fill them in. You gotta make them look a little more substantial than that. So, uh, what I do is I, uh, I fill them in, and then I go back over them. You guys heard the ding there. That was my, uh, microwave. Telling me my frozen pizza is ready. Uh, uh I only eat healthy. But, yeah, so I'm gonna fill those rocks in back in the shadowy area, and then I'm gonna go back over them with a, uh, with a light black. If you were using acrylic paint, you would just uh, uh, use a use a very wet brush with only a little bit of black on it to uh, do that effect. So it'll make a really thin, transparent kind of black, and it'll look like a nice cast shadow. So those things back there will be in shadow. You'll have the nice contrast between the front and the back, and the rocks won't look like a bunch of little scribbles. So uh, yeah, here I am. 
making the rocks in front stand out. Cool thing about doing rocks is you can do this stuff on the fly. See, all those rocks were actually going to be in the background, the whole lower part of that hill. But then I decided, you know what, an overlap would be nice. And uh, when you do it, when you want something in front, you always do a darker outline around it. Uh, that that makes it stand out. It makes sure uh, to talk to the show the viewers that it's in front. There I'm going in with the black to add the shadow, put some shadow up underneath the grass. Oh, and here I'm going real anal. I'm going with a uh, pencil line black shading to have actual grass lines on the rock. Uh, yeah, that's unnecessary considering this how much zoomed in this is. Alright, I think I'm using the airbrush there and uh, and black and that's going to put a little bit of shadow on it uh, and not too much. I'd have to go over it a bunch of times to add a bunch of shadow. But anyway, that's the way you, uh, you're you going to do some stuff in the back and you can still make ridges and stuff back there that are slightly lighter. Whatever you do to add the cast shadow on it, it's going to, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna keep all the detail you put into it. So adding some highlight in, uh, highlight of course is going to be the lightest part of the, uh, of the picture. Uh, count how many times I say, oh guys, count them. I bet it's gonna be, uh, you should try taking a drink every time I say it. Now I'm going to remember and not, whoa, hey, I'll move that quick. I am slightly medicated. Alright, alright. Is it done? Is that all I'm doing? No, I haven't added the rock. I know I added a rock. That looks pretty cool though, zoomed out. That's what it's going to look like on the banner. Because that's what this is. This is the banner page for, uh, this is going to be the banner, uh, for the channel, for our YouTube channel when it's finally done. I know I'm taking my time doing it. Wow, that looks terrible. I don't know how I fixed that. Okay, I'm blacking it out, blacking it out. Come on. Okay, okay, so I'm going to draw it in. Draw it in with paintbrush. And see how I'm coloring it even in the back? Well, you're going to use the cast shadow there. I'm going to use a, a, that same technique to shadow the back of that rock. That way I'll give it a little depth. Alright, so I'm going to put some highlight on there, got to put a little reflective shadow back there, uh, and cover up the black. Yeah, editing, I hear, I hear it's a nice thing, but uh, I think I was just hoping that Times 2 would do everything. <laughs> Shouldn't be a very long video, I'm pretty sure I cut it short. Oh, whoa, hey, hey, oh, okay, okay. Let's zoom back in, add a little more highlight. Guess the music wasn't done, so we had to keep going. There we go, zoom back out, zoom back out. Nope, not done yet, no more highlight. Man. Uh, I gotta do the commentary a little closer to the time I do the painting. It's not like I'm trying to teach thing, anything really on these. There we go, there's the before. You can barely read that in the caption, and there's the after. Not a huge amount, but it uh, does show a little more finished quality in the, in the little plateaus there. Alright, well, uh, I guess this is the end of the video. Check out my book on Amazon.com, and uh, plan to put out more videos here soon.